I, I think there's another project up the road from that one that has been a really good success story on amenities, and that's Easton Park. Um, I'm thinking of two reasons and would love to hear your feedback. Number one, when that was planned, pickleball was kind of a thing. And you look at years later and what that's been. Um, uh, that pickleball court, well, there's like five of them in there, six of them in there. I think there's about six. Yeah, they're full like all the time. All the time. People are there always. And that, that's that been a huge, huge draw. Yeah, and then there's like a three-acre park, is it? Right in the middle of it? I think it's like seven acres. Seven acres? Yeah. Yeah, even bigger than that. So the nice thing with that one though is that was that's maintained by the city. By the city, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. nice green space, maintained. Couple of nice little zip lines for the kids, park area. So turned out really nice. And and that was genius. And I don't know if it was intentional or, or what, but yeah, the situation there is, in order to get the development approved, the city wanted a park. We've got to build it and pay for it. But when it's done, we turn it over to them. So it's a huge draw but it's not coming out of the HOA budget. It's a city budget and they have to take care of it and, and maintain it. But it's, it's literally in the middle of our project. We've got these kind of stacked flat style units mm -hmm. all along the park. People go out the front door and there it is. 